Crow game, man. Hope everybody have a nice, blessed week, man. Today is Tuesday, man. Today is Tuesday. Your boy B Day is Friday. But anyway, man, we down here at the Dawson Harbor, located at Austin Hill, Maryland. We about to check out this Adidas store. They got some kicks in there. That's your boy, dude. One. But I'm about to take it back to the old days, man, with a little. Baby, get this video live. All right, y'all, so we made it. We found it after like five minutes, so we found it. Hey, bro, I, I had called up here about the uh, turn and a half. Oh, yeah, they had uh... yeah. uh, One second. Married and looking. I don't know. I'm just saying. Alright, y'all, this is my first time being in Adidas. Alright, y'all, so we done in Adidas at the outlet, man. If you got an Adidas outlet in your location, they got 50% off the entire store, man. I thought it was a joke, but it was for real, man. I just spent 160 on some shoes, some pants, a shirt, and a hat, man. You can't beat that. I think they're selling the mannequins, too, so make sure you get to your local Adidas outlet, man. They got a stupid sale going on right now. I guess it's the back to school joke, so make sure y'all bring y'all kids down to the Adidas outlet, man. We out. Hey, right, y'all, so now we in the Nike outlet. About to see what they got, man. I think they got a back to school sale going on too, man. Hey, I see some Jordan 12s, but right here in the retro section, got some dunks, some Air Forces, Panda Highs, phone posits, uh, the UNC to Chicago Lows right there. Got some Air Maxes, some more dunks right here. The basic stuff that I seen last time that was sitting in here. But they do got a pair of uh, Air Jordan 12s over here, but they got the they are golf. So we got some golf joints right here, man. We got the golf 12s right here. Hey, I know people that will buy these joints, right? And screw that off the bottom. Would y'all do that? They already retailing at 220, bro. Would you buy these loads and screw the screw the golf things off the bottom? Because I wouldn't. But yeah, other than that, man, your basic Nike stuff. Got some other stuff over here. We got some Jordan 1 lows right there. The Air Jordan 2s right there. I think those are um, melon tent joints. Yeah, we got the melon tent joints right there. And other than that, man, down here, all your little Cyber Jordans right here. That's sitting as well, man. But they do got a uh, sale on like all their clothes and all this other extra stuff, man, for back to school. So make sure y'all come check the Nike outlet out as well, man. They also have some nice uh, basketball shoes, man. If your kid's gonna be playing on like balling this year at school, make sure y'all come to the Nike outlet, man. Come pick up some of these basketball shoes they got. Like I said, especially if your kid going to school and they playing on balling for the, the school year, man. Come pick them up some little basketball joints right here. These clean. And they got a lot of big sales going on. Some sales going on and all these outlets, man. A lot of the outlets got the back to school sale going on. So make sure y'all come check them out. All right, y'all. So this 52 kicks, 252 kicks right here. They got, they got some little people in here today. They don't usually be dry as hell, but... I got some people in here today. Just checking out what they got. This right here is ridiculous. 300 for a six and a half in the UNC toes, man. Get out of here. They also wanted 300 for toddler sizes too. Come on, man. All right, Crow Gang. So we made it back to the nest, man. I want to thank y'all for checking out the vlog. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Man, that store 252 kicks, bro. It's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy the prices of their shoes. 
I didn't show it when I was in the store, but check this clip out right here from the store. They want 270 for a brick. For a, uh, not a brick, but hey, they want 270 for the uh, Wolf Gray 13, but that's sitting in every store. 400 for the uh, Reimagine 3. They trip. Now, can y'all see, man? They want $300 for a pair of toddler. Toddler. UNC toddler, bro. They want $400. For the reimagined threes, bro. They going crazy in there, bro. They even want two, what, like 270 for the uh for the Wolf Grade 13s that's sitting, bro. And I know they not paying a, a high price for these shoes because you can still go get UNC toes at certain places. So I know it ain't like they paying 270, 280 for a pair and selling it for 300 bro. Bro, 300 for a toddler pair is bananas. But anyway, that ain't here no there, man. We right here for this unboxing. Of these Adidas that your boy picked up at the Adidas outlet. I was searching all morning for these kicks. I've been wanting them for a minute, man. I didn't really like them at first, and then I seen a picture on Instagram of AB Sneaks. Y'all know he be making all the kicks look sweet. Matter of fact, here the picture right here. So he had them joints on like that, and I was like, dang, nah, them joints might be all right. So I was kind of late to the party. I think they released uh, July 26th or something like that. So I had to double back and get these. But anyway, I ain't gonna hold y'all up, man. Let's get straight into the unboxing. Boom. So starting with the box, we got an all over black Adidas box right here with the Adidas, Adidas branded going across the front. On the back, it says the brand with three stripes right there on the back as well. So that's the box, pretty simple. Box label reads Crazy Infinity 2.5. This is a USA 10 and a half. The colorway is uh, talk, 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 black, and polio, polario. It's some crazy colors, bro. Anyway, I don't even know why that's the color. This might be a different box, bro. It, it might be a different box. I don't know. But anyway, but that's it right there for the uh, for the box content. Pretty simple box. Speaking of the box, we don't. <laughs> now it's gone, so we ain't got to worry about the box. But anyway, now let's get straight to the kicks, baby. Now we got the kicks. But anyway, man, I ain't going to lie. In hand. It might stare at people away in hand. It's not the, I don't want to say it's not the best looking shoe in hand. It do look kind of bulky, but on foot, these things clean, man. But anyway, we got the Adidas Crazy Infinity 2.5s right here that released July 26th. It's, 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 it's basically made after the old Kobe model. I think the first pair that Kobe Bryant uh, ever designed or something like that. I'm gonna put a picture up on the screen. So it's designed after that specific silhouette right there, but Adidas just put a little twist to it. It do got a zipper right here behind the zipper. We got the laces right there, man. And also, let me pull this back so y'all can see it. You do have a Adidas sign right there. You know, three strike game. On the bottom, you got like this green, Got some green on the bottom right there as well. Adidas sign in the middle. And I, I thought that would be carbon fiber, but it's more like it's more like some hard rubber. But I tried them on in the store, and man, bro, these comfortable, bro. I, I didn't even expect for them to be as comfortable as they were. And if I'm not mistaken, the guy told me I think these might have been a return. Like they probably they had to be a return. Cause there's no um, shoe paper in the inside or none of that good stuff, but still a clean shoe in my opinion. You also get the three stripes on the inside right here as well. If you guys can see that, it's a lot of lightning, but you can still see it. And then you get the three stripes on this side as well. You get the Adidas branding right there on that toe. And like I said, you get a zipper right here, a little zipper net on the back. You also have Adidas branding on the back too pretty simple shoe you know i just feel like they i just they they was just they just different bro they definitely clean i don't have no adidas in my collection but now i do so yeah i feel like i had to pick these up and they actually these are actually basketball sneakers because in the inside hopefully i can get y'all to see that but in the inside and you can see it in the inside it says adidas basketball so these are actually basketball shoes right here that's the reason why they're so comfortable. But when I was looking at images of them, 
I just knew that I wasn't going to be able to do a 10 and a half, but that was the only size they had. So I thought I was going to catch myself, you know, contemplating on if I was going to get it or not because it was a 10 and a half. But look, give me y'all honest opinion. Looking at this shoe right here, I, I know y'all probably can have the same thoughts I had. Don't look like they just fit tight. You got that narrow toe box right here that, that got a straight little, uh, it ain't no type of space in the front. And then it just looked like they snug. So I'm like, man, I might not be able to do a 10 and a half. I might got to order like 11, 11 and a half, which I'm glad I didn't order the shoes. I, I went ahead and kept looking the whole time. They was at my local outlet, the Nice New Harbor outlet. That's like 10 minutes away from me. So I was getting ready to get them all stock X or GOAT or uh, any any of these little uh, third party stores or uh, online Adidas. They were sold out. So I was like, man, but I was going to go for a 11 and a half because me looking at them, I felt like they was going to fit tight. But I'm glad they was in my area. I was able to try them on. So that way, if I couldn't fit the 10 and a half, I was just going to order a size 11 or 11 and a half. But hey, man, they don't fit like they look. They was actually a perfect fit and they are so soft, bro. And the inside, it just feel like, it feel like some Yeezys. I'm going to keep it gangsta. It feel like some Yeezys. It feel like you walking on like foam. These drinks feel good, man. But hey. I don't know. I don't know. I might do it on foot for y'all for these, man. I don't know. Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know in the comment section below or, you know, by the likes or whatever. But y'all let me know if y'all would like to see an on foot of these joints. If not, then just check your boy IG out or maybe one day I'll do a fit check and y'all see them on toe. But if y'all want to see an on foot of these, I would definitely bring it y'all way with a little lace swap. They are black and white or like a little off white they call it chalk these are the chalk joints so you see you got the the white right here and it's like a off white so i can i can easily do a couple lace swap they got some regular rope laces in here i can probably it depends on the fit it really depends on the fit that i'm rocking i can probably do some red laces some red laces will go nice in these even some sail rope laces you know what i mean maybe yeah, maybe some green laces. You know what I'm saying? It all depends on the colors that I got on for it can correspond with the colors. But anyway, I, I like this pickup. I'm happy with this pickup. It is what it is. It's a different shoe, something to add to the collection. But I actually see myself rocking these a lot. Hey, man, and peeking over at this hat, man, I can actually do this hat right here with these joints, man. That wouldn't be a bad look, this hat right here. A little Raider snap back with this joint. But... Speaking of that, man, I almost forgot, y'all. I almost forgot. I meant to show y'all my pickups, man. So I did grab this Adidas shirt right here. You know, we got the Adidas branding on the back as well. I grabbed the medium and this. I actually got this from JD for $5, y'all. $5 shirt like right there from JD. But from Adidas, I did grab these black, you know, sweatpants. You know, they real thin for the summer, little summer joints. Get tight at the bottom, man. They're going to fit perfect over top of those shoes right there. So I grabbed those. I also grabbed this black and white Adidas shirt as well. Nothing on the back. Just your basic little black and white Adidas shirt, you guys. So I grabbed this as well. I also topped it off with Adidas snapback, man. You know your boy love his hats, man. So I grabbed the Adidas snapback. I didn't want to wear all Adidas and then go throw on a regular snapback so i went with the adidas snapback and that's it for the bag that's all that's in the bag so that's gonna do it for today's video you guys today's content i hope y'all enjoyed the vlog i hope y'all enjoyed the unboxing again y'all let me know in the comment section down below what y'all thoughts and opinions on the adidas infinity 2.5 and would y'all like to see an on foot review and a lace swap or even just an on foot review of these joints y'all let your boy know that in the comment section down below for all y'all that be watching my videos man i need y'all to you know engage with the video engage engage say something down in the comments man it's a lot of it's a lot of uh loyal subscribers that do though man but for the views we should have more comments and likes man so like the video y'all let me know what y'all think of these right here and if y'all want to see a lace swap I love you guys, I appreciate y'all, hug your loved ones, let them know you love them, you guys, and always remain solid. And we are into the next video.